Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we have a big number to divide. We have a one, two, three, four, five digit number that we're going to be dividing by a two digit number. But before we do that, I love dinosaurs, and that's why I have a new channel called Dino Math. If you take a look up here, I'll have a link to that new channel, and I'd sure appreciate it if you can go over there, take a look at some of the videos I have there. Um, it's everything dinosaur related, and I really uh, would be so thankful if you could hit the subscribe button and uh, see what it's like. But uh, <laughs> my son, yeah, he's on the show too. So we got some really cool things. Um, I'm also doing mathematics on that show. And so it's dinosaurs and mathematics combined together and it's called Dino Math. So, all right, let's get right into this. When we do a big problem like that, don't worry about it. Take it easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. Just take it slow. We got 25, we gotta figure out how many times 25 goes into this big number. Now, sometimes what I'll do is I'll take a piece of paper and I'll cover up these numbers and just work on you know, one number at a time. Can I put 25 into nine? You just can't, can you? So then we have to go to the next number, 99. How many times can I put 25 into 99? Now, we're, we are working with the number 25, right, Lucas? And 25 is like a quarter, all right? So I'm just gonna show you, if I take 25 and times it by two, two. Yes. two, what is two quarters? 50. 50, all right, so we have 50. And then let's do 25 times three. So what is 25 times three? 75. Wow, he is super fast, 75. And if you have four quarters, what would that be? A dollar. One dollar. Lucas said one dollar. He's eating blueberries right now. Um, he likes blueberries. I, I just hope he doesn't turn blue. <laughs> All right. So with 25, now I have to put it into 99. Can I do four? No. That's good. That number's going to be too big, isn't it? So we have to bring it down to three. All right, so 25 times three would be 75. So I'm gonna put three right here. So three times 25 would be 75. And now my next step is subtraction. All right, so put the subtraction symbol. Nine minus five, four. Four, four, four. Out the door, four. Nine minus seven, two. A two de tat, two. So we have 24. Can I put 25 into 24? Can't do it. So our next step on division is to bring that next number down. You forgot the sin sign on you. Well, that's if I'm dealing with uh, like uh, dollars. And, I'm sorry, if I'm dealing with decimals. But for that one, it's just 100. So three times 20. So our, I got a little confused on that. Um, so our next step is we're bringing the next number straight down, okay? So we bring the two down, just like that. So now we are dealing with 242. That's a big number. I, I don't have anything close to that, but I'm taking a look at this. 25 times four would be 100. So let's do four times. And I know that if 25 times eight would be what? Eight times, 200. 200, all right. So 25, times, mm, let me see here, 25 times 10, that's another one that we might know. 25 times 10, that would be 250. Too high. Too high, so it's gonna be probably 25 times nine. So let's see what 25 times nine equals. Well, you know, one times. Nine times five equals. Um, nine times five. Do you know what nine times five equals? Equals There's a trick with nines. One less than five equals four. And what? Forty-one. And what plus four equals nine? Forty-one. Five. What? Forty-five. So it is forty-five. And nine times two is eighteen. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. All right. So we have two hundred and twenty-five. So 25 times 9 equals 225. So I put the 9 up here. 
9 times 25 is 225. And then I subtract. So I need to borrow right here. So this would be a 3. This is a 2. What is 12 minus 5? Do you know what 12 minus 5 equals? 7. 7. Sent from heaven. And 3 minus 2? 1. 1. 0. We, we don't even need to put that zero there. So our next step in division is we bring the next number straight down. I like to do a little beatboxing. <laughs> put the four right there. And then you put decimals so, zero, zero, Nope, zero. we're not dealing with decimals right now. We're only dealing with whole numbers. So I have 174. Do I have anything in here that's close to 174? That's close to it. So I want to see what 25 times 7 is. So let's do 25 times 7. 5 times 7. Nope, that's too small. 5 times 7 would be 35. Carry the 3. 7 times 2 is 14. 15, 16, 17. Hmm. Too high. Too big. Too high. Six. So let's try 25 times 6. We have a lot of figures all over this board here. 5 times 6 is 30. Carry the 3. That looks like a 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 13, 14, 15. 150. All right. So I'm going to put the 6 right above the 4 right here. I don't think I can reach that high. <laughs> 6 times 25. Or I'm sorry. 6 times, yeah. 6 times 25 equals 150. So I write 150 right here. And now I subtract. Put the 4 here. 7 minus 5 equals 2. And now, what's our next step? Drop it down. Drop it down. Yeah, drop it down. And do we erase all facts? We're not going to erase that. We want to keep that there because we want to keep track of all the figures. After this one. All right. After yeah, this after we're all done with it, we'll erase ways. that. So, 245. What is our closest? If we did 25 times 10, that's 250. Too big. 25 times 9. All right, that's that's the next choice. All right, so we put a 9 right over here. 9 times 25 would be... Are you sure that's going to work? I, I'm pretty positive, but I could make a mistake. So we'll, we'll find out if we make a mistake here. 5 minus 5 equals 0. That looks like 4 a minus 2 equals 2. And 2 minus 2 equals 0. This is our remainder. 20 is smaller than 25. I do not have any other number to bring down. So this is our remainder. Make that a little bit neater. 20 there. And so I put an R with a 20 right there. Oh, if we wanted to keep We could even put a little smiley face in there, too. If we wanted to keep on going, we could put decimals. It did. I suppose you could put decimals, but we're just working with whole numbers right now. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show. I sure appreciate it if you can hit that subscribe button on this channel. Take a look at the dino math. You're going to like it. We got all kinds of dinosaurs. You're going to love it on that show. Um, yeah, it's going to be so much fun. Hey, have a great day out there. We'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye. Goodbye.